So everything you see here is what I use to clean my records. This is when I do a deep clean. Uh, we'll go through everything. I'm not gonna really show you how I make the actual cleaner, but just a rundown of things. So for the actual cleaning solution, it's a combination of distilled water. I use a very cheap soap from the dollar store, from Dollar Tree. I like this brand, it's real watery. You don't want anything too uh, thick because it leaves a film on your record. So this works out really well and it has nothing in it. It's just dish soap. I use a drying agent. This is what you put in your dishwasher to make things uh, dry a lot cleaner. This gives your record, I've read things. I don't know if it actually does anything, but I do it as well. Uh, it gives a nice shine to your record and helps get some of the excess water off and dries it nicely. And then also you need your alcohol. Uh, the higher the number, the better. So I was able to find 91, but you can get a little higher. 99, 100, good luck finding it, but 91, not bad. Uh, that's everything. It's a little bit of a four parts to one part mixture. I eyeball it, so I don't, I can't tell you exactly what it is, but that'll make the actual cleaning solution. Other things you're gonna need, or that I need. Uh, microfiber towels, I've got a bag of them here, and this pad. I got these all at the dollar store. You get two for a buck. These things are uh, paint corners. They, they use them, I guess, uh, you put them, you find them in the painting section and they're for doing corners. I've never used one for actually painting, but the bristles are real soft and they get into the grooves really well. So I have two of those. I have card dent removers. They suction down and these are used to keep your, uh, your labels safe when you're spraying them. I'll show you how I do it because some people do it a little differently. I have two of them. Uh, the other one I use as a holder for the record after it's done, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then I also, get that off, also have two spray bottles. One is full of my cleaning solution and one is full of distilled water. So the next thing you want when cleaning, I always keep a pack of these around. Uh, these are little papers that go inside. They help protect against static and you don't want static on your records because that's what makes your clicks and your pops and your hisses have to clean so uh, and you're also going to need a dirty record so here is a very cool record I have Iron Maiden's third album Number of the Beast and this one is a bit dirty and you'll also see it's got a very old dirty ratty paper which is probably full of dirt dust and it's not really helping the record probably even maybe even scratching a little bit so what we're going to do we're going to take the record out we're going to throw this paper out we'll give it a new paper at the very end but first we need to clean said record. Okay, so right off the bat, you see I have my first microfiber towel laid down. You'll see I've marked a uh, black circle in the middle. Now I do that, so I'm gonna take my dirty record here and I'm gonna line up that mark right in the center there. And that lets me know where the center is because what now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it over top of the label right here squeeze it and push it down and now that's going to stop any water from getting inside the suction and the label now the reason i have that mark there is you'll see it doesn't actually suction down so sometimes when you're washing it you may slide your record and you want to make sure that your label is still in the same spot as it was and this kind of just helps you always keep short, uh, lined up your label to this now, I have seen some people online do it this way. And this works in theory. Uh, it really gives you a strong seal. But I found doing these records, this works maybe, if I'm lucky, half the times. Uh, half the times, it doesn't hold a seal. It falls off. And it doesn't really work too great. I also find that when I'm cleaning my record, it's kind of difficult to, uh, you know, actually get in the groove. So, I don't do it this way. Uh, if you... If you can get it to work, it works well. But like I said, I don't have much luck with, with this. Uh, of course, when I shoot this video, it works. But I usually have no luck with this uh, technique. Okay, so now that we have this down, you always want to keep pressure down on this. You always want to be pushing down so that suction keeps your, your label straight and, and on there. So now what you do, the first step is you just take your distilled water and you're going to spray it directly right on to the record just like that, and you go all the way around. So once you have 
the record sprayed down with water. You take one of your two corner painters, you put it right on the record, and you're going to push down. And you, I usually go one, two, three, and then I go counterclockwise twice. And you push down, and you just kind of go along the groove. It'll, it'll go by itself, and you keep this pressed down while you're going around. Okay, so I've gone around, and uh, what that does is people argue over distilled water versus regular water, and they say that distilled water is just better for the record. It's better for static electricity. Regular water can have minerals and other things in it that are going to scratch the record and get deep down. I don't know how much I buy it, but you know what? I collect records, so I'm just going to go with what they say. So you do that. The water gets in the grooves. It kind of gets that first. It kind of wets the record up. Now... You're going to do the same process. You're going to spray it with the cleaner all around. You're going to take your second painter's corner brush, put it down. I do three one way and three the other way. Now that I've done three one way, three the other way with the cleaner, now what I do is I take this, uh, this pad here, this microfiber pad, and if you can find one, I found mine at the dollar store. But I just take it and I just go over the leftover residue, the leftover soap, and I just go one or two times clockwise and then counterclockwise. And for the last step, what I do is I now just go back to my distilled water, I spray around the record a couple times, and then I take a new microfiber cloth that I haven't used yet, and I will just dry off the record. I'll go around a couple times, and I'll just dry it off. So now that we've dried it off, you take off your suction, you can see your label is still dry. You just take your cloth, dry it off a little bit. You flip it over and you do the same exact steps that we just did. So another thing I forgot to mention, and it's a big reason why I do the dot, is you'll see when I flip it over, I don't know if you'll see it, you can see it. This is all dry here in the middle and there's an outer ring that gets wet. Now before I mark the middle, I was, you know, sometimes it moves and things like that. And you want to keep your labels as dry as possible. So by ensuring that that hole is always lined up with that mark, you're ensuring that this middle is always going to be dry. So your label is never going to take water damage if you do it this way. Now I told you one of these was going to be a holder for once the record's done. So what I do is I throw a rag over top of this, just like this and I pinch it closed and that's gonna sit, the record's gonna sit right inside of there and that rag is gonna keep it from getting any kind of scratches. So after the record's done, I put it in my little drying rack and I let it sit and I let it dry for a little bit. Usually, I just do another record and by the time the second record's done, this one's dry. So the record is now dried off. I don't know if you really can see on it, but it's crystal clear, it's really clean, it's not dirty. And now we go into the last spot, which is just putting it in a brand new sleeve. We've now got it in the new sleeve. We can put it back in. And now you've got a deep cleaned record. This next step I'm going to share with you, a lot of people will probably cringe and argue with me that I'm wrong. And so I'm just giving you a heads up. I don't do it to all my records, but I will do it to some of them. Sometimes you get a real gnarly record. And the cover is just dirty, and it's filthy, and it's dusty, and it's gross, and you don't really want to touch it. I buy uh, wet ones. It's antibacterial, and I just do a, a real light wipe with it. Now, I know some people are going to say, Croc, you're, you're ruining the, the, the cover. You, you know, this, you're going to get this line. That line's already there. Like I said, if I'm getting a super rare record that's worth a lot, I'm, not, I'm skipping this step. But you could see... This record's already beaten up as it is. Uh, it's not in my collection to be, you know, on display. So I don't care. I'm going to wipe it off because it's grossed me out. And I like wet ones because a lot of people, uh, a lot of these, like Clorox, theirs are doused in the, the liquid. Wet ones are not too doused. They don't really saturate into the cardboard a lot. It, it does a nice job. So you just take one and you just, you know, lightly... You just lightly go over it. Uh, I just went lightly over it. You don't press too hard. You don't really shove in there. You just lightly touch it so it doesn't, you know, really soak the record. And I don't think you can really see, but a lot. Of, this has actually been cleaned once before, and I just wiped it off again. And it's pretty dirty still. But you wipe it down front and back, and you let it dry. A lot of people, they just 
use these and they don't let the surface dry. The surface drying is what's going to kill all the germs and the grossness. So you'd spray it, you, you wipe it gently down and you let it just air dry for a couple minutes. Again, use this, let it dry. And then your records are completely clean.